Well, the race to win the next provincial election in May is heating up already, and the B.C. Liberals are getting some help in their bid to take down the competition. A group calling itself Concerned Citizens for B.C. has launched a million-dollar attack ad campaign targeting NDP leader Adrian Dix. It comes at the same time the government is spending $15 million on ads that the opposition claims are blatantly partisan. CTV Stephen Andrew has the story. Unstable government policies have hurt people around the world. A B.C. government ad, a slick commercial part of a $50 million campaign. Well, the reason those ads are on is because we need to make sure that the public, that citizens of British Columbia, have confidence in our economy. But British Columbia is standing strong. But the NDP sees the multi-million dollar ad buy just four months before an election as partisan advertising, something the party says it intends to stop. In the first session of the first legislature of an NDP government, you will see legislation that prohibits uh, partisan advertising by ensuring that all advertising done by government is reviewed by the Auditor General. It's a turnaround for the NDP. It too used taxpayer dollars for ads when Adrian Dix was Chief of Staff to then Premier Glenn Clark. Third party advertisers now want to remind you about that time in political history. Dix resigned from the Premier's office after falsifying a document during an official police investigation. Now he wants another chance? Adrian Dix, a risk we can't afford. And to convince voters that the current holder of the Premier's office here at the legislature isn't getting a fair shake, concerned citizens for BC are spending a million dollars on radio, television and print ads over the next couple of months. And Premier Christy Clark doesn't see anything wrong with that. You know, that's the way the law is written. There is an unlimited amount of money that third parties can spend on advertising now in British Columbia. And I imagine that there are, will be third parties across the political spectrum that are engaging in what the court says is their democratic right. But this press gallery columnist believes the negative ads looking back 13 years are almost irrelevant. I think the point that is really the Liberals are hung up on is the fact that Dix is yet to come up with any kind of coherent, comprehensive campaign platform. So that leaves Christy Clark, who's a naturally aggressive politician with nothing to shoot at. She can't take apart the Dix platform because it doesn't exist at this point. All she's got left is the record from years gone by. And a war chest of money, some of it raised in Alberta so that when Dix does release his platform, Clark and the Liberals will be ready to target the NDP leader. CTV Stephen Andrew joins us now with more. Stephen, based on the ads we're seeing already, how nasty do you think this campaign is going to get? Well, Hudson, I think it's going to get very nasty. I mean, you can expect the fast ferry fiasco to rear its ugly head again already. Third-party advertisers are using scare tactics to sway voters away from the NDP, saying they will introduce labor laws that will drive up costs and kill the forestry industry. The NDP have a 15-point lead right now over the Liberals, so... Christy Clark and her party really have nothing to lose, Hudson. All right. Stephen Andrew reporting. Stephen, thanks. You're welcome.